Oh, Look at this one. let's go. Ricky, what are you doing? I'm just letting Gabo negotiate for me. I bought games. 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 Currently sitting at 227 NES games, today Ricky and I are headed down to another Game Tower event. These are always the best places to go to because there's guaranteed to be good stuff everywhere. So let's meet up with the guys and let's do this. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. All right, we're at the event. What we're looking for today, I'm gonna say I'm looking for some color dream stuff. I've been picking up some color dreams. I'm not gonna lie, I have some stuff to show you guys in my car that I that kind of picked up before the event. So I'm looking for that stuff or DuckTales 2 or Chippendales 2. Ricky, what are you looking for? I'm going for Gun Neck. Okay. Felix the Cat. Okay. Or Swamp Thing. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna find all of them right now. Let's go. I don't have that much money. Yeah, Look at this beautiful, right beautiful so standees. There's what? None of those on eBay right now. Link Between Worlds, Majora's Mask. I had this one. I sold it to you actually. Or I think I gave it to you for like super cheap or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I bought it off you, but I had, I had two at one point. Sheesh. Crazy. What's up with this, bro? Did you buy it or oh, what? I did brother, not. How much? Size large. I'm asking a thousand, but I'm wow. not. Wow. This is pretty, Ricky. Dude, nice. This is how much? I don't know. Oh, that's not personal. That's not personal. Oh, oh smart man. Wow. Oh. A clean Zelda in the box, Ricky. I'll talk about Godzilla. What the homie, the homie. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know. We don't have Zelda in the box yet. The original box. We don't? Nope. Link. Surfer Off Road, a game that I really like. Ooh, Renegade. WrestleMania, that's a good one. WrestleMania ones. There you go, Ricky. That's a good start right there. If you get it, let me know. Let Monster me know. of Monsters. Let me know if you buy that, my boy. So I know I immediately said that I was looking for a Color Dreams game. I'm seeing one, and I'm seeing another, a different one that I'm that I really want. Oh boy, Darkwing Duck and Menace Beach. Dang, Menace Beach is such a clowned on game, but I do love me some Color Dreams, and they do have the two. Darkwing Ducks, which one? Yeah, Bible Buffet, yep. I have the box for that. You do have the box. You should buy it, Ricky, and complete it. Man, that is looking nice, too. I said 90 or 85 on this one? 90, I said, right? Yes, 90 on that. 90 and then 80 for me, so that's 170. 170? Yeah. Okay. I bought games, I bought games, I bought games, I bought games, I bought games. Curtis? I got two I bought pickles. games. I ben? There is one you need, I bet, right here. <laughs> All right, so I didn't get Menace Beach just because I don't need it that bad yet for the price. I, I feel like I can find it cheap. He was willing to give me whatever price charting is. Didn't know it was like a $350 game. But Freedom Force, if you haven't played it, it's like the best gun game on the NES, the absolute best gun game on the NES. It's like a rail shooter. It's super fun. It's way more fun than like a duck hunt type or anything like that. Darkwing Duck, one of the best. And then Dragon Warrior 3. I wasn't thinking about doing this, but then I saw the label condition, which was really good. And he basically was like, whatever these are in price charting, I'll go a little bit less than that. So he was super awesome to work with. This puts us at 230 NES games. Pretty excited to already knock off three really good NES games and not just like three desirable ones, which they are, but also three really good NES games. But now I gotta get back out there. Ricky was just hollering at me saying he found something really good. Whoa, 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 what's you going on down here? You, you can take it this time if you want. Yeah, okay. What are you guys looking at? Yo, I didn't... Shadow of the Ninja by Gabble, fantastic game. What? Blackjack? Black Blackjack. Oh, of course, it's a black card. But we don't have that, Ricky. What? Mission Impossible? I have that sealed. Okay, so we don't need it then? Super C, do we have Super C? We do have Super C. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think we have that. Donkey Kong I don't think we have 3? Donkey Kong. Pull okay. that out. Okay, got this one. Oh, look at that. Look at this one. Oh, let's go. That's a big What is it? Show them. Felix the Cat. Oh, baby. Now that is a game. Now, I will say, very easy game, but an awesome game. The music. Ooh, I already got that last week. You already have that Wait, one. and that Dragon Warrior 2, Ricky, we need that. And Clue Clue Land. What is this? Oh, here you go. With five screws. We need Clue Clue Land too? And Dragon Warrior 2. Oh, do you see this one? Oh shoot, uh, maybe. Nightmare on Elm Street? Okay, let me, let me, I'm not sure. Elm Street, 
Okay, Ricky and I are now going to see what we need and look at prices, and then we'll, we'll check in. Ricky's working out prices right now, working at a deal down there. So let's see what he gets. I think he's getting them all. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, Gabo. That is, that is. I know, for, Ricky, I know for sure he works. Give, give it to Ricky. Just give it to him. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Sure you need to that. use it. You need to use it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you don't have that. <laughs> So recap, I ended up picking up Clue Clue Land, one that I've kind of been wanting to get. I saw one at Chris's store a while ago and I wanted it. And then that Dragon Warrior 3 that I got earlier got me excited for Dragon Warrior 2. So now we got these two in there and look at the label on this too. All these games put us at 235. Yes. Yes. One more game. 236 NES games. Gabolito, what are you buying? Okay, I oh look, it's Gabo at the at this event. That's Un uninvited. <laughs> to so called too. <laughs> so what do you get? So uninvited. I need uninvited. Okay. Amazing cover by the by the way. Yeah. Insulated water. I don't know anything about this game. Can you what is this game? Water? Yeah. Something about that. City connection. Yep. Need it for my whole collection. I'm yeah. jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> Why? Because I actually want to play this one. Really? I've been playing. It's on the Switch. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hey, it's not the same. It's not. It's really not the same. See, see how we changed now? I've been starting to play my NES games a lot now, like sitting at an NES, and it just feels different. So, so with this, I'm sitting at 584. Okay. I'm getting closer, baby. I thought you meant $584. I'm like, hey, dude, I think you're overpaying. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, like, oh, that's no. like 60 bucks. No, that, you, know, you know what is the best? I did use the brown car, so. Oh. I get the special discount. Nice. Hey, huh? I found that game. I know, I was bro. Gonna buy it. I was very upset when you passed it, too. I'm not going to lie. I was like, Ricky, what are you doing? Did I call him sleeping? You caught me slipping. I was standing right there. <laughs> these guys those guys are weird. These guys are really weird. Honestly, they're weird. I don't know why I hang out with them. I'm, I'm finding myself in the same predicament as the last time I was here. And that's just finding too much stuff too quick. I, I forget what it was like to be in a hunt for something specific and having the availability to buy it all. It's, it's frightening because I just want to walk up to each booth and be like, I'll just take every NES game that I don't have. But then I'd be spending like 10 grand on one booth. Curtis said he just bought some. Yeah, me, me and Elliot made a deal. You, did you get some deal? I got my some deal. You got some deal. No, he, he only knocked a few off, but it was good. Um, I have the purple one. Oh, now. The, the Zelda GameCube console box. Yeah, all CIB up in there, and uh, I was like, dude. Couldn't have been a better spot. Now I have both of them. Let's go. You know what? I just saw a minute ago when I walked yeah, by. Look at this. Up? When we got here, I originally mentioned Color Dreams. Yeah. And I saw an uncommon one down here. A little side scrolling platformer. Not that bad of one. Gonna pause the video right here and talk about Squarespace for a moment. Thank you, Squarespace. Beautiful platform on which to create your website. How about Squarespace's online store? You can sell your products on their online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. And how about their flexible payments? You can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay. And you can offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And as we always say, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Not that bad of one, but Castle Deceit and look at the freaking cover art. The game is honestly not that bad. I, I think that was I'm gonna, one that I was gonna get Ricky, I think. But I was like, oh, I'll just get him the other ones that I'm, I bought. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna get it. Hopefully I can get a little deal on it too. Dude, there's so much good stuff out there right now. It's scary. <laughs> yeah. It's literally what I just told the camera by myself a minute ago. I was like, this sucks because I want everything. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, this, this Castle of Deceit. My heart got a little bit sad. When I saw, only because it's a pricey game. I don't care when games have like messed up back labels. It was a blockbuster one, I look at though. Yeah. You know what I like about the label? It looks like a 80s heavy metal. <laughs> oh, dude, the label is unbelievable. All right. Uh, so I guess. $75 off. I got it. We're good. Sweet, man. Sounds good. What is okay, this as long game as Elliot's, about? It's a side scrolling platformer. It's legit, a decent game for being a Color Dreams game. Yeah. For Color Dreams, it's worth playing. From the cartridge case design to our lockout ship. You can see it is the goal of Color Dreams to engineer around rather than challenge patented technology. The fact that Nintendo has not sued Color Dreams is perhaps your best assurance 
that our games are infringement free. So I'm just letting Gabo negotiate for me. He's closer with them. It's like a $120 game and he was like, what do you want to pay? And I was like, uh, I'm going to let Gabo decide. He's, he knows you better. So see what I'm getting it for. They made it happen at 80 bucks. So it's a $120 game for 80 bucks. Hey, Castle of Deceit, I wanted a color gene game when I walked in, so I got it. I'm really happy, and what makes me most excited is for being a Color Dreams game, it's not a bad game. It's really not a bad game. A lot of them are horrible, like Pest Terminator, it's a piece of garbage, even though I want it. But that puts that, how many games? 237. 237 NES games in the collection. What'd you buy? Bought these two, but I didn't pay that. I got, actually got, you got a good deal. Got a great deal. Let's go. So, Do you have the consoles you. by any chance? I I was looking for the consoles I actually have. That we didn't have the controllers for it. Oh. So now I have to get these consoles to complete yeah. it. Ricky, that's a nicey, nice, nice, nice. Color. It's color. We, it's 2024. We sure it's, love color. It's color. <laughs> 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 and then there's and then there's anti-color. Hey, All right, we're taking a detour down the street because I have a, a nasty confession. I bought a bunch of NES games off camera, the, like the past week that went by. So you're cheating. I was with people, with friends, trades, and it was just stuff that I couldn't pass on. So I got them. Just wait until <laughs> so I'm you see what sure. I got here. For oh you. no! All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, here it is. Ricky, you gonna put your seat down? I, I hate admitting this. I'm so sorry. I, I, I've turned into Ricky. I'm buying off camera. I don't normally like to do it, but the deals hey. were good. Oh, I, he, I'm standing right here. All right, come look at Curtis. Ready? Ready? So, first of all, I got the Aladdin Deck Enhancer sealed. This is for the NES. Um, I, I might have accidentally bought all the games sealed too. So, these will get added. They're, all the games are sealed. Um, I'm, oh, this is also sealed. I'm sorry. Oh, I might have accidentally bought Double Strike uh, CIB as well. So we'll have to add that into the collection. It's one of those black games. It's a little different. It's not like an official NTSC game. I might have accidentally got a CIB Monopoly. I might, I ax this was an accident. I totally didn't mean to get a CIB Rygar. It was just like a random mistake. Uh, Alien Syndrome, it, was like, it fell off the back of a truck and so I had to pick it up. <laughs> uh, a Bubble Bobble CIB. Um, it was like just like someone threw it to me when they're driving by me and I had to pick it up. Last Starfighter CIB. Gabo's very um, that, that that was our accident. Oh, and Kickle Cubicle with the manual, by the way. Fantastic game. Fantastic game. And then this was like also an accident. Uh, these were under my brother's car. Um, all the Lolo games, Lolo one, two, and three. And then Mega Man 5 with a really nice label. Oh, and also another banger, Galactic Crusader, which is actually a fun game. I'm trying to justify you, what I've done. I'm dude, really you, sorry and I apologize. You I really I, like I would, colored games, man. Colored I, card games. I, I promised I would never do this, but uh, Ricky, how's it feel? Feels good. You like it. Ricky likes it. I, I'm because I'm still surprised. I'm like, oh, look at all this, look at all these games that just got added to the collection. I can't say that right. <laughs> Wait, I will say this. Ready? This is for uh for Jared. Jared, this one I already had though. So Jared, cool title card coming up. This is not a new game. It's a CIB level up. All right, Gabo. Now I need to actually add all these and see what it puts us at. But by the way, come on, let's be real. Man. Great game, Man. fantastic game. It's not in the list. No, I didn't have it. I had none of these. The only ones I had was um, Bubble Bobble. Let's do it. Oh, and I had Alien Syndrome. Ready? Jared, another CIB upgrade. 45, 46, 46 47, 48, 49, 250. Yep. 251, 252. 253. And do, do the honors. 254. 55! Let, let me point this out. By the way, Double Strike, if you look at the cover, it looks bad to the bone. That's really loud. I'll talk louder. It's actually a really good side-scrolling shmup, but like a cutesy shmup with good sound effects. I recommend trying out Double Strike. In fact, Jared, insert a good 
12 seconds exactly of gameplay. <laughs> So after adding an ungodly amount of video games to my NES collection, we're just hanging out and having a good time, hanging out with the boys. It's honestly probably one of the best reasons to do this, but Ben said he brought games to also sell me. This is getting crazy. All right, Ben. At this point, I'm feeling like, how many more NES games do I need today? Ooh, okay, let me see, let me see. What do we got here? I got these bad oh, boys. Oh, you got me the Funkers. Like, the, yeah. uh, those are Camerica games, correct? Uh, Camerica, and then and this Codemasters. one's uh, American Video. Okay. So I don't really collect these versions, okay. and I somehow ended up with them. Is this, what is this one again? Oh, Dudes with Attitude. Yeah, I've actually yeah. played a good amount of Dudes with Attitude. Okay. Ben, there's a sticky note in the back. I know what that means. If you guys don't know from the show, whenever I see a sticky note, Ben willingly cleans our NES game. So that means this game is clean and ready to play. Yes, sir. Let's go. They all are. Ben, let's go. <laughs> Let me see that. Take note, audience, by the way, if you're gonna play one, there's one obvious, obvious choice. Micro Machines, have you played this? No, I haven't played it yet. Oh, it's not just like a decent game. It's like a really good- Is that good, four player? I don't remember if it's four players or not, but it is a really good NES game. Oh, well, shit, when I go- <laughs> Yeah, I'll see and no, Benjamin! Uh, hey, the graphics on that are actually really smooth. Really, okay. it's almost like an RC Pro-Am, but gotcha. not as isometric, more top-down, but such a fun game. Oh, I love nice. it. Actually, Jared, you know the drill. Throwing a good. How many seconds of gameplay? Ben, just Jared throwing right now. Four seconds. Four seconds. That puts them at 258 NES games. <laughs> oh! All right, so Gabo, you bought this game, correct? I bought this game last week, and you know, uh, I I forgot I already have it, so I call Reef and say, hey bro, do you need this one? Because I know oh, I love oh, this yeah. game. I love if, if there's again. Let me make this clear. I don't have to get CIB on my stuff. I don't have to. But there's certain games. No, dude, if this I, is a must. But there's certain games I see CIB. I'm like, yes, I will pay for that game CIB. Let's let's let Ricky Wait, see it. Quick, quick, quick question: I, Is I this the, this game means like GI Joe means to me? Yeah, the CIB it's like home. a must. Yeah, you All can right. guess. We can guess. All right, let's go. So I think it's either going to be World Cup, okay, or uh, Super Dodgeball CIB. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you I'm sure? Good. Are you sure? Oh, dude, I forgot the game. Liar! Ah, <laughs> Liar! Oh, let's go! Ricky yes, was right! I, I got it! <laughs> this is one of the best games so you could possibly ever play. I know it's loud here. We're walking down literally a side of apartments. This is a must, 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 must NES game from the music to the, in fact, come on, I have one of the characters, although this is from uh, River City Ransom. It's Kunio Kun, it's Alex. Oh man. Ricky, this game puts, whoa, oh, yeah? I got an idea. Oh. Throw it to, no, film it. Throw I am it filming, me, you idiot. I grab it and I said 259. Oh boy, that's scary. All right, audience, you're gonna see Gabo trying to film a video, ready? Ricky, don't, if you drop it, I take a percentage off. You already paid me. <laughs> oh, dang it! This <laughs> game puts us at... Oh, 259! <laughs> there we go. Got that working properly. Three-bit games. The shop. Look at this, bro. CIB NES for 60 bucks, bro. <laughs> dang, and that's how YouTube works. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, there's nothing in here. They're just getting that, and I'm getting these two as well. All for 60 bucks, so super stoked. Closer, closer look at this. I'll be honest, Elliot passed this over to me, so this was a good deal. Yeah. 30 bucks for this? I like how it says the Game Boy Advance on it. I know, it's really cool. He, you said Ricky and I should communicate with that, though. And Swami, yeah. That'd actually be, like, <laughs> honestly awesome if it worked. Oh, yeah, hopefully it works. Yeah, I mean, maybe not. <laughs> you know who's not working? Hey, what's, what's up, bro? You're, you're not on a break right now. Huh? And I mean, he's employed? Sure. Yeah, you jerk. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, sometimes, Ricky, you know, with the NES set, you can't be only buying yeah. the bangers. You gotta buy the stuff oh, to, you can't? to fill in the gap. So I put these, they're all good games though. Pinball Quest, Bigfoot, by the way, always been one of my favorite cover arts on the original NES. Friday the 13th, 
and probably the most, and then Guerrilla War right there, but probably the most fun game of them all, Tiny Toon Adventures. The music is literally like the show. So I'm gonna see what kind of deal I can get for all of these and I'll kind of look through them and let you guys know in a minute. What I really enjoy about get togethers like this is that everybody here is super cool and part of the community. People are coming to SoCal, which by the way you need to do, but you know, like we actively are openly looking at price charting because prices as you know go up and down so they're more than willing to work with everything and I got everything here for 50 bucks so price charting on a lot of these went down so they're more than happy to say yep that's where the market is let's do that so beautiful games added to the collection and really fun games all these games are games that I enjoy Tiny Toons though is by far the one the one to play and this puts us at 263 NES games dang I don't need CIB but I do need CIB on this. This is another one of those games ah, that I just feel like I have to have CIB. The other day I was thinking what my favorite game of all time is on the NES, and I kind of was thinking, is it Chip and Dale? Like this might hold the spot for me. And that price, you guys, this, this is like $140, $150 on price charting. And it's true CIB. Let me take a peek at it closer. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Open it up. Yeah, it's real CIB. I'm trying to get in there, guys, for you guys. Man, I'm holding this kind of funky for you guys, but it even has the inserts on it. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. And with that, we have a CIB upgrade. Check it out, Gabo. CIB now. Dude, you're sick, man. Go get help. Go. 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 All right, boys. What's the one game that you, you, you don't, you're not collecting CIB, but you have to have it CIB. For me, there's like, you know, I'd say a Darkwing Duck, duck I'll probably want CIB. Rescue Rangers, Super Dodgeball. Yeah. Gabo, you're up uh, first. Bionic Commando and G.I. Joe, the Bionic? white label. Ooh, why's it gotta be white? <laughs> because it... <laughs> <laughs> Elliot? Uh, for me, it'd be Conker's Bad Fur Day. Conker's Bad Fur Day? I, lo I love that evil squirrel. Oh, I love it. Benjamin back there? So for me, it's good old NES Tetris, baby. Woo! Stupid choice. He got it graded! He's got it graded! He's got it graded! He got it graded! He got it graded! Touch my Russian. <laughs> oh, I, I like it. Look He's got this. Bad boy Castlevania anniversary collection. I got a. Holy like, moly, it's got a little switch, it does a little thing. I, I think the battery's out on it though. Ricky, I already know it's for the Switch. Oh, sorry, but look at all the games it comes with. Oh, hey. Let's see, Castlevania 1, Simon's Quest, Dracula's Curse, Castlevania... What? So, which one, Ricky, out of these games is your favorite? Right there. Castlevania right there? Super Castlevania, what about you? Probably three. Three? Three yeah. is three. You guys want to know a little secret? What? Gem? Kid Dracula is one of the more fun games in the whole collection. You got to try it. Wow. It's legit amazing. Nice buy, Ricky. Thank you. How much you get it for? One fifty. Nice job, Ricky. He told me he'd give it to me for hundred bucks, though. <laughs> Ricky just pulled out maybe our last game here. Defenders of Dinatron City. So did you know this was originally a cartoon series? No, I did not. It was a failed cartoon series, and now it's an NES game that is like pretty janky, but it's like a beat-em-up-ish side-scroller, but uh, worth getting it because it's a super unique. You play a lot of different characters. I think you play as this girl a good amount of the time if I could get it to focus, but maybe go see what they'll do on the price. So Ricky just got it for a good deal, and definitely a game worth playing, but that puts us at 264 NES games. This is sick. This is, this is just feeling sick. What am I doing with my life? Oh my gosh, so I just got these and I got, actually got this one for 100 and this one for 80 bucks and I'll be 100% open and transparent. I do not need these, I am not keeping these. I'm gonna flip these so that I can keep my, my sickness going for the NES, but these are beautiful. All right, y'all, there it goes. See, I mean, when you buy all this, you kind of have to do some flippies to make up for it. Today was nothing short of a dream day, an actual dream hunt. And while we're doing this and collecting endless amounts of video games, new ones that I've never really heard of or never really played, and ones that are just obscure and odd, all the way to my childhood games, this was beyond a blessing, beyond a wonderful day. And I'm doing it beside the community, each and every one of you. It just is an experience that I can't really explain other than 
it's an actual dream. Thank you, and seriously thank you for watching the journey.